We've talked about classes a bit. There's also something called a pseudo class. These are built in classes that kind of um, add in a way of, of selecting things, special things. Also pseudo elements. So let's touch on a couple of those real quick. Uh, one of them is very widely used. Um, and, and actually from CSS1 and then into CSS2, a number of them are used to affect the behavior of links. So um, there's a set of them, including link and visited uh, and active. Um, but the one that we're going to touch on here is hover. Uh, you actually can use all of these, and many often you do use all of these to to um, set the the default color of, of things, for example, after they've been visited or when they're active. Um, but the one that has the most bang for the buck, I guess, is hover. So for hover, let's do a background. Oops, background of yellow. We know what that does already. It highlights things. So we're going to save this and we'll reload the, the uh, page. We already have a lot of highlighting going on there, but it's a good start. Now when we go over these items, it, um, it highlights them. So anytime you see a, a hover effect like this in a modern browser, it's probably done through CSS changing um, things inside of it. Um, we can also, there's also things called uh, pseudo classes, or rather pseudo elements. So for example, we can change things with just the first letter. And um, we'll make the font size 120%. Um, So what this does, let me refresh here, is you may not have seen that. It made the T just a little bit bigger because the T is part of H1, and we've selected only the first letter. Actually, let's make this so it's really obvious by making it 200% bigger. And I'll refresh. Watch carefully. The T gets much bigger. So these are fairly... Um, infrequently used. There's a bunch of them that I won't cover that do things like talk about siblings so that it's the first child, for example. So down here, um, we could we could do that. We won't. But um, right now we've we've called this class red. But if we wanted to just do the first list item of every list in red, we could instead do li first child. Um, you, that's probably not where we would use it. If you think about a magazine layout where the first paragraph is slightly different, maybe a little bit bigger or bolded, um, you know, pull out, you could use that instead and create every first paragraph slight, behaving slightly differently than the paragraphs that follow. So this gives you a good, uh, a good feeling for um, especially the one that we're most interested in, which is using the hover. Um, I'll let you explore on your own about using visited and link. Just bear in mind that they, um, the order in which they appear in the CSS does have an effect uh, on the way that they are displayed.